it's great to have you here and I'm really excited to share this topic with you all. So today, I wanted to talk about this. It's a Team Powers Radon V4 Speed Controller. It's very configurable and can be easily set up to suit every kind of driving style and every track condition. So I wanted to share some of my own personal experiences on this unit. The settings will be around the two most popular stock classes, 21.5 and 13.5 Blinky Touring Car. And I'll be focusing on throttle and brake setups only, so no turbo or boost. Before you dive into these settings, you'll need to consider a few things. The car setup, the driver's ability and driving style, and the track conditions. All these will determine which settings will best suit you. So let's go through some of these main options to consider. So let's talk about throttle. <laughs> There are three main options to consider. TH1, which is IP limiter. It's used to control that initial power to the motor. It has a range of one to 30, where the lower value will provide low initial power. TH2, or throttle rate. It's used to control the overall feeling of the power. It has a range of one to 30, where a lower value will give you a lesser aggressive or passive feel. TH3, drive frequency. It gives you a feeling of the throttle smoothness in your hand. It has a range between 1K and 16K, where 1K is very aggressive and 16K is passive. Okay, so let's talk about brakes. Here we'll be focusing on the five main options. B1, initial brake feel. It's used to control the instant brake force to the motor. It has a range of between one percent and 20 percent where the higher value will have an aggressive initial brake force. B3 or brake force. It's used to control the motor's maximum brake force. It has a range of uh, between 12.5 percent and 100 percent and has increments of 12.5 percent. Once again a higher value has a high motor brake force. B4 eye brake response. It's used to control the initial brake power to the motor. It has a range of between one and 20, where a higher value has a more initial brake response. B5, brake rate. It's used to control the overall brake feeling of the brake force. It has a value of between one and 20, where a higher value has a more of aggressive brake feel. B6, brake frequency. This gives you an overall feeling of the brake smoothness. It has a range of between 1K and 16K, where 1K is very aggressive and 16K is very passive. Okay, so that's all the settings I want to discuss. But in summary, the lesser aggressive settings would mainly suit our conditions where it's a low to medium asphalt track surface. So I would recommend starting passively and build up on that aggression. But you can also apply this to a high traction carpet track also. Also, I know that many of our modern transmitters have brake and throttle setups already built into them. But rather than getting lost in the setup jungle, my recommendation would be to, to set up your transmitter, uh, all the options to 100%, and only work on the speedies options initially. You've all heard of the comment, corner speed is king. So a quick car is not one that has aggressive brakes, as you'll find that the car will lock up, and this will cause understeer. It'll also wash off too much corner speed and you'll probably miss the apex. Similarly, with an aggressive throttle, you'll create loss of traction through wheel spin. This will create tire overheating and further on down the track, you'll probably have loss of traction due to that overheating of the tires. So I'll consider these, so you should consider these when setting up your speedy. Well, that's it. I really hope this has helped you out. If you need any further info or you want to ask any further questions, get in contact with the man, Ren, from ROB Hobbies, and he'll be all too happy to help you out. From me, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep it on the black stuff.